LJ? Yeah? I really want to see the new recap review. Where can I go? Well, I'll tell you, little Johnny. If you head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, you'll find all of our content, recap reviews, mock spotlights, and more on Vessel a week early. That's right, a full seven days before we release it on YouTube. Not only that, but content from tons of other creators all across the internet. In order to access it, you need to sign up for early access, which is only $3 a month. It's a really great deal, and it helps us create better, higher quality content, and gets you guys in on the loop a whole week early. Wow! I'm gonna go sign up right now! You do that, little Johnny. You do that. Five, four, three, two, one, sing! sing. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 194 of the TTV Podcast. Mardi Gras. Mess out. It oh, doesn't dare work to we do a go. countdown for the sink if you change how fast you're going halfway through the countdown. It matters. No, it actually really does. It actually we're does because be we're going sink. to sit on the beat. Yeah. We're doing like five, four, three, two, one, and then we. I pace. get black about my speed. And then I fix it and I give more flash. You can still fix it, but you're inconsistent! You gotta be like... It? There's this really annoying thing Bar would do sometimes. He used to do. Whenever, uh, like, we... This is a long time ago. We would sync movies, and he would do our videos on the internet. He'd be like, five, four, three, two, one, sync. And we'd be like, what? What's the point of doing that? We get, <laughs> we're not gonna get there. <laughs> this is why... This, uh, I'm gonna buy a mess really metronome. Weird. A mesonome. <laughs> wow. Wow. That sounds like a garden gnome. Like messing with your beard and a hat just what? sitting in your garden. That'd be really weird. It's like, whenever we're trying to sync view a video, this is why everybody else apparently can't do it. Because they go, five, four, three, two, one. Wait, wait, hey, 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 I wasn't ready. Let me be so ready. They Sometimes it's like, it's that balance been going too slow and too fast for stuff. It's like nobody really knows until it's done. I don't care if it's fast or slow if it's consistent. Exactly. Consistency. Oh, yeah. Five. Four. Oh. All right, giant man. <laughs> five, oh, nice. five, four, four. I, I smell the blood, blood of a man. Be he live or be he dead, his bones I'll grind to make my bread. Never mind, it's not gluten free. Bone I'll let you bread, know that. delicious. <laughs> but like, how do you know wow. Englishmen aren't gluten free? <laughs> no, she's just like mocking you? me. Englishmen, <laughs> Dylan. Englishmen aren't gluten free. TTV episode, whatever this is. <laughs> that is a good this title. Is. Ka Ka he <laughs> what how do you not know? What well, because he said it, and like I everyone was like Mardi Gras, and I was like, I, I can't hear it. Me. Whenever people are doing this. Yeah. Well, what do you well, say? We go ahead and introduce ourselves. I was gonna say I'll hear it after you're, you're done introducing yourselves. Hey. Hey. Mm. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Vika. I'm Takuma Nuva. And I'm Purple Dragon. And once again, hello and welcome to TTV episode 194. Mardi Gras. Wait, wait. So, did you just yeah, drop you the can't. knack? Yeah, I've done it, like a couple times before. Yeah. What? what? Why? I do it on and off, like, meso. Is that permanent or anything? But, oh, like, sometimes I just say, I meso. Was this supposed to change your mind this one? Wait, we'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, episode, oh, my gosh. I'll episode on. 200. No, I'll do episode 200. We'll change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to do this All with right. me? You want to change too? Uh, okay, listen, Joanna. Uh, what? Okay. You want to do it? <laughs> yep. Okay. Let, let, come on, Juliana. You can change your name at absolutely any time. It doesn't matter. No, no. Don't I, use my I real just, name. That's you not your real name. That's true. Don't you need to know that. If you're gonna it's do your it, it's real name. Fine, do it. I will do my best to adapt. All right, but yeah, with like Meso, it's like Meso is really strange because like I it just feels a little too long. Meso works. Kind of like Vin is kind of dropped Vinom sometimes, and then sometimes he says it. And Mom, Vin, but Mesonek has a nice sense. beat to it. If you just say yeah, Meso, it's like very bleh. It like it's too it relaxed. Calls, it's yeah. You need the neck. Everybody calls me Meso anyway. The yeah, well, everyone calls me Purple, but I still go like Purple Dragon. Lazy. Yeah, Nobody well, everyone... like, ever calls me, hey, Mesonek, and when they do, it's odd. Like, the only reason I keep the Mesonek around is to make jokes. Like, the hey. neck is back. Or stuff like that. Hey, I it back. could be worse. <laughs> we could call you Mess. 
<laughs> we get called purple perps. I, th- I do that. I do that all the time. Yeah, that's a cute nickname. I just go for the middle of the yeah, name. So you know, it's like drag. It's like yeah, it's always like that <laughs> thing. Where, <laughs> like a thing where it's like <laughs> police officers use it all the time too. Like, oh hey, perps on the perps on the roof. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Everyone's surrounded perp. Wow! Perps on the yeah. roof. Go go go! But if listen, perps on the roof. I'm digging underground. I mean, my my big thing is LJ, Jackie. What are you doing? He's no, seen... he's just Lajah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why Jackie yeah. over here wants to change his name from Kahi. That's a short to the point name. It just Jackie. rolls off because the tongue. It's, all right, because it's honestly like, what am I going to use his name for outside of his channel? Nothing. It's a bionicle name that I came up with when I was 12. And it's like, well, if I decide to do anything in my life, any anyone that knows me as Kahi. That's all just gonna go away as soon as like I if I get a different job or if I start to do something else in a different media. Yeah. And there's no point to me keeping the Kahi name because I'm not gonna be Kahi anywhere else, literally anywhere else. So why keep it? You always yeah, be whatever, Kahi Jamie. to me. <laughs> it makes legitimate sense. It's just like I can't. I've become so ingrained with like the meso character. I can't. I can't picture myself just asking you guys. Hey, start calling me Tyler. All the time. Oh god, that's so weird. Like, I would do it. I tried to do it. I'd do it. I would. I would like. I would correct myself. Like it would take a bit of getting used to. I couldn't just switch. But I hey, would Tyler. go out of my way to try. Same thing. I'm gonna do it with Viper. If you want to, you want to be known as Fluffy. We can do it. Yeah, sure. All Fluffy. right, all right. Fluffy. Fluffy. The thing, the thing is, gonna, I, gonna be just... I originally you know wanted, like, when I first joined TTV, I originally wanted to be called Fluffy, and everyone's like. Nah, yeah, man, that just sounds weird. It just sounds weird. And then, like, he's like, what about... Not uh, everyone, it was basically me. <laughs> it was me, yeah, so really. He's so... like, okay, well, I'll just keep Viper, and then Viper was a really cringy name, because it's really generic, and not me. And, hmm. uh... So, and then now, it was like, Do man, why do you have your name as Fweffy? I'm like, that's what I've been trying to say. Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm... I did not know about Fluffy until like maybe five months after you got here. I'm pretty sure I told you. Why is your Twitter name Fluffy? Like we, we all had to think. Me and Var were like, "Why is where's your Twitter name Fluffy?" And then you had to go through the whole story. No, I'm pretty so, sure I told you guys. I was like, "Yeah, hey, we, we my were Sky well name aware was of it. Fluffy. Yeah, yeah, we knew. Yeah, so I all right, fair enough. I wasn't. I tried to drop the Takuma thing so many times, but. It was just something I couldn't get away from, you know? It's like, no matter what I would try to go with, everyone else just kept calling me Takuma, so... LJ for I life. Tr- it's a... It, well, it's this is a new... I tried to switch to a- Lynchpin at one point, and what? then there was... Uh, inside story with someone I used to work with. Uh, Lynchpin, one and time. then Minnesota Crickets. It is a thing where really you need to, to like, actually... Minnesota Cricket, but. I feel like it only really works if it changes as something that's like either your real name or like a, a nickname that everybody knows you by. The only reason why I'm not like campaigning for people, like most people that I know call me JJ because of like Jonathan Juwan is two J's, right? <laughs> but JJ and LJ would be too confusing and I acknowledge that. So yeah, I, I'm no, cool with no, just no, John. No, no. LJJ. I mean, you should switch LJ to make that work. No, well, we, no, we could just call go, him, go away. we can just call him Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's John Johnson. Johnson. Hey, uh, we'll call LJ Johnny instead of you, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> no way, hey, screw that. So you know what? I- I'm gonna go Johnny. against the tide. Kahi, you're you're gonna be Jasmine for the moment, and Purple. I mean, Fudge, Viper, you're gonna be you're gonna be. Wow. Oh, okay, <laughs> you've lost all your credibility. Here. <laughs> and, and, and you Purple, can even keep your fake names. Purple, right. you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be Porcupine. LJ is okay. such a misogynist. <laughs> wow. Kahi's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> No, so but you mix that purple and Thank you. Thanks for noticing. Whoever <laughs> is going to be making this switch, commit to it, and fans prepare to be, have like be shocked and like take. Well, I'm yeah, probably, like, probably like, gonna I, I, you know what? We're, it's going to be easier for for a brick feed if we get a like a good brick feed audience going. They're probably just going to all know us as a uh, like the, the new the new thing. But yeah, there we go. Speaking of brick feed, check us out on Vessel. No, yeah. Yeah. thank you, careful. Plugs. Great. <laughs> Let's go. So, on vessel of vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, we've got a host of exciting content that we also have on YouTube that you can check out one week early access if you do opt to pay the $3 a month subscription fee, or you can just use it for free, which is a fact that people commonly gloss over. All our videos get released there the same time as they do on YouTube for the public. That being said, 
We also have a plethora of exciting Vessel exclusive shows that are growing in number by the day, including TTV Play's Game Dev Tycoon, which we recently launched. It's a webcam oriented Let's Play with the entire cast of TTV that will hopefully start coming out on a more consistent basis, but for now we've got, uh, we've got like an episode that's up, so you can go check it out. More coming soon, and that pretty, that's pretty much all. Vessel rocks. So what am I, chopped liver? Yes. Thank yep. you for noticing. We're, we're gonna the have entire it. TGV that's, crew, that's but Kazuma is not part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, okay. we got... I mean, not the entire not TGV crew. Purple's not there, X is not there. Yeah. So just you the original basically just team. lied. False advertising. Well, it's like the, the OG Did I say crew. the entire TGV Everyone, crew? Everyone, don't did, go to Vessel. Go to YouTube instead. Make sure you're using Adblock so we get absolutely no money at all. Oh my gosh, why would you even <laughs> say that? Yeah. Well, everyone, I mean, that's I'm what I do. Like, like, don't yeah. do that. I have, I have you a new announce. announce yeah, yeah we Kuba's have a new announcement dismissal. to make. Uh -huh, Takuma's gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Always wanted to do that. Takuma, bring back the Me? RPG. <laughs> 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 when I get great. a job <laughs> and then I have the money for the hardware, software, place to do it, etc., RPG might come back. Might. Cool. Yeah. A couple other things to plug. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, make the TDV t-shirts have returned after a small absence. VAR has uh, released yeah. the shirt of April and the shirt of May as like kind of a, a, an event uh, rather than but, opting to have a poll. Man, but that guy's guys, not giving me any discount. Why am I Where was the poll? Where was the poll, no guys? We will reset with our other plan like next month when we get back on track. But for now, we have the shirt of April, the Mac and J shirt, which won the prior poll. You can buy that. It's a Minog with Meso themed shirt that I thoroughly enjoy. And then we also have the shirt of May, the TTV Civil War, which is based off our April Fool's joke and also the movie Civil War, which is pretty timely if I do say yeah. so. Myself. Right. We, we kind of like we forgot the poll for last month because this month. It basically we knew that the movie was going to come out, and this was a timely shirt just for that yep. movie. And if, if it lost, Iron Kahi and again. Captain LJ fighting while being controlled by the Puppet Master X. I'm yeah. placing my so, order right now. I I, I gotta say, um, I, I'm very happy these shirts are are up. I'm on both of them, but uh, I I have some very important I need to address to Purple. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh Sucker neck and J all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that poll was an avalanche. Wait, was this Nack and J versus what? It was Nack and J versus the many faces of X. Oh, see that that one is like that one's that one's a good shirt, but it's like you know, obviously enough, obviously enough. X there's ain't as recognized. The more members, yeah, the more members you have, the more uh, the more. <laughs> I feel like there's been other shirts by Purple that have done really well. Presumably you know, this TTV, she, she's this TTV never, Civil War shirt. She's never won a contest. And because we threw her uh, th threw her shirt up without a poll, she still hasn't. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> wow. we, we put her up against all our best shirt designs because those are the shirt designs we're saving. Wow. So, yeah, because yeah, they aren't hers. Oh! We also it's made her shirt for a poll I thoroughly enjoy. Yay. That being said, this Civil War shirt, I feel, would have won if it was against Nack and Jay. I guess we'll <laughs> never find... Wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> no way! Are Easy. you kidding me? Look at the Nack and Jay shirt. It is... I am. It uh, is adorable. What's wrong, LJ? Do you not like Captain LJ on there? Do you not... Well, it's drawn like... by you, so maybe not. But I look wow. at the Nack and Jay shirt. It's adorable. Misogynist LJ! Sorry, go on, go on. Listen, <laughs> it's not because purple is, I think, a woman. It's because what? you think it's because she's a shade of dark pink. Purple isn't dark pink. What? Excuse <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm dark purple. Pink. I've seen dark pink. Purple. <laughs> Dark pink is like more of a maroon. <laughs> no, 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 no! Stop, stop! We're Even like, if somebody did have to make dark sense of pink it. skin, that would still be racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can't. Dark isn't like sunburnt. white skin kind of pinkish. Yeah, it was like dark sunburn. That'd be really dark gross. Sunburn. Sunburn. Dark, dark sunburn. That's seriously that dark. But no, listen. Yeah. The Nack and Jay shirt is so fantastic. It's just it it hails to Manog, and it's adorable. It's cutesy, yep. and it's a white shirt. We don't have very many of those. 
It's perfect. The other one. I don't know why. You, my uh, only complaint is that I'm smaller than like Elder, but in all mock representations, I'm a huge titan. Yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> listen, dude. No, I got no. I got no witty comeback. Yeah. Also, like Elder's more like Calvin, and you're more like Hobbes in that Let's Play. <laughs> so that's I mean, a very. Well, yeah. Eh, I don't know, cause like Meso, he goes all over the place. He doesn't know right and left if. If it bit him in the face. I wanted face. to check out the world. I, I want to follow you guys. I want to check book. out the world and spoil everything in it. Gosh. Listen, it's uh, the purpose spoilers. of a game like that. He, you can go where you want. Spoiled. You were, you, you were going to. He was going to get spoiled by playing that game. Yeah, LJ, spoilers. make sure you don't you go to the see game. the Black Panther movie. I'd hate for you to be spoiled. He was gonna get spoiled by playing the game wrong. Nah, he won't be playing. He won't be watching Black Panther because he thinks movies, movie cinema goers are stupid. They, they are. <laughs> yep. they're, they're horrible people. Well, yeah, no, <laughs> I'll stick by this. Well, no, I mean you, you went to a cinema, so, so uh, I am a horrible person. It's about I time you admitted that. it. You're right, you are. But not <laughs> as horrible as everyone else. Finally, eh, no. <laughs> that's a uh, horrible. Don't worry, I'll slap myself on the wrist. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's a good time for TTV. So. Buy my shirt, please, so I can get. Buy the other please one. Please do. It, it's really like it's a. It's both of them are great shirts. If you can buy both of them, you should mm -hmm. buy both of them. I feel are like these the... gonna be. Aren't these gonna be up for two months too? Since no. it's like a special thing. No. Nope, just one month. Are so, you if sure? you want to get a Civil War shirt... I believe Var did mention they were going up for an extended time. Yeah. Oh, did, did, did he? Did, did he? I believe he did. I believe Let me see. I'll thing. go check the topic. Well, way to go for communication, guys. Woo! We are so professional. Yeah, Var yeah, just said they that. Are up, for they are month, up for so. an extra month. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. You can buy my shirt himself. this month and then awesome. the other one the next you month. You can. I would say that right now, if you want to show your TTV colors and civil war colors it, there's no better way to do it than to get that uh, get that, that and i'm on both shirt. of them so our purple just can we oh just stop making shirts of lj in them uh, we'll just one with me in it okay do you have any all. good ideas i mean oh you know what we should do we should do the avengers shirt you already drew your avengers thing we just put on a shirt we should do that Okay. Hey, well, yeah. would that like be squad, copyright right? infringement, or is it just? No, no, it's it okay. You do realize, like, the shirt right alongside yours is a Calvin and Hobbes reference, right? <laughs> well, I never read <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes, so. <laughs> no. Like the as guy, as the guy parody, who made right. the Calvin and Hobbes yeah. comics is incredibly particular about that copyright. He is He's very, very strict. But, like, He's about the, the copyright towards the characters. I I think he's been pretty lenient. And again, it's covered by parody a lot, like you know, for the Kylo Ren stuff. You ever seen Kylo Ren and Chewbacca? Uh, I mean, I've or, I've seen. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. I've also seen the Rooster Teeth shirt, where it's like Ruby and the Grim. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, yeah. Yep. As long as you like, you can emulate the style. You know, as long as it's, it's your own it's work under and parody. It's parody. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes. So we should talk about that purple. We'll talk yeah. About yeah. It. I'm now I'm now okay. kind of considering getting getting a Civil War shirt. Do it. Yeah. It's really, it's like, it's really cool because it it's tied into our Civil War. You like, on it, yeah. and you're just considering it. Well, yeah, because yeah. think of the uh, think of the alternatives. First of all, it's a darker shirt. Second of all, Kahi's face is on it. Not just Kahi. Like, what's in a wrong mask. with a darker shirt? You got bad dandruff or something? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. you're horrible. Your I'm, face, I'm like the your, Himalayans. Your face would have been on it too <laughs> had it not been for you not wanting to show it. Instead, it's way more attractive now with that great Miru. <laughs> right, it is more that cardboard piece is more attractive than your face. Yes, absolutely. It is. <laughs> oh my it's, goodness! Isn't it like not oh, actually God. cardboard though? It's like yeah, the base is cardboard. Okay. Yeah, so far it's like paper mache. Me. What about the treble? It's not paper mache. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Something <laughs> else we should probably oh, mention on the now. actual. Something we should probably actually mention here. Just so people are in the know. One other thing to keep you informed about, we recently launched a new podcast. The Brick Feed Podcast. Do you want to talk about that here? The yeah, music I'll talk bit. about that. You know, Go the watch it. Sucks. The, uh, basically, what, it, uh, what it was, was a couple, about a year ago at Wager, we had this idea, and it took us forever to actually put it into practice. Like most but earlier this year, we, uh, we recorded a pilot episode, and we were just basically dragging our feet with releasing it. 
passing it through different people to edit, and then, like, a couple complications. Eventually, you put the pilot episode up, and it's a pilot for a reason. The series is uncharted territory for us, a system-based podcast. Never done something like that before. The closest we've came is when Bionicle was not existent, and Hero Factory was sorely lacking in the news department. We would put on a podcast every week and have to try to scrounge up interesting things to talk about. This was back, like, 2010 to 2013. And sometimes we would talk about system and just try to basically force our way into being interested in it. And it never really worked all that well. Discussions were stilted and awkward. Not that great. Eventually we just stopped talking about it pretty much altogether. However, now we are older, our interests have broadened a little bit, our equipment's better, and I think we're better podcasters. So we are venturing straight into this realm of system discussion. We're well, going full speed ahead. Yay. That's so. I, I think we're better podcasters until it comes to the intro music. That's just horrible. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> what yeah, intro people, music? Have, people are split on the intro music for Brickfeed. People, uh... I'm not split. a See, some people saying they love it, and some people, like, hate it. For me, it's one of my favorite songs we've, uh, used and stuff. So, I can't like, even remember what it sounds have. like. Different opinions, I guess I suppose, it just wasn't that memorable. But... Yeah, for people complaining about it, uh, I hear you, but See, we're probably uh, not going to change it. Uh, I'm sure they don't hear you. They're too busy listening to the bad intro music. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think somebody somebody's trying to say something. Someone has a little little salt in their blood. What? No, 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 no. This is. No, the... I have a little salad. In I was going. I was going to say salad. <laughs> I, love salad yeah, I, I like the intro music. I think. I think it's just the implementation. It was a bit loud, and I agree with some folks where, like, we don't say anything, and it's just intro music for, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, that can be kind of awkward. 15. Yeah, but, like, 10 seconds of just uh, music is still kind of awkward. It's like an intro jingle. We stopped doing that where, like, there's we, we always talk during the music, but there is something to be said for having, like, a jingle tune to open your show. And mm-hmm. I, I quite enjoy that. So I don't know. Well, this, but yeah, this is like came out. It's cool. Yeah, go check it out. Because the fact of the matter is, we we touch upon this sometimes, like uh, during the podcast. But Bionicle, no matter when it ends, will not be around forever. No, uh, yeah. it's that attitude. attitude. Yeah, what? it's like it is a thing where it's like we do need to think about the future of GTV and our company, and like kind of what we're going to do afterwards. Because Bionicle will end at some point. Doesn't necessarily mean next year. Be it three, five, yeah, or ten years. Yeah, might be ten years from now. Could could go forever. Not can go forever. Yeah. it will end. <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to say. So we do have to like have a contingency to to go forward, and we also need to branch out. And uh, we are yeah, getting last more time, interesting stuff. It, those of you who are new fans of ours may not be able to like comprehend this, but like TGV was started like a half a year after Bionicle was announced to be canceled. People already knew it was gone. We just wanted to start a podcast because we liked it. And we spent the next four years trying to make a good podcast and have interesting topics. But we were living in a post-Bionicle world. You know, so we're accustomed to that, doing that, but we're not accustomed to actually being successful (laughs) at it, basically. Um, Because if Bionicle ends, we could do stuff. We could talk about Halo, we could talk about Marvel and do all sorts of stuff, but we'd probably lose a lot of our audience. So we're doing contingency plans. We're trying to broaden our range, broaden our scope, because there's a lot to Lego besides just talking about how Lego's mismanaging construction every week. A lot of positive (laughs) stuff to talk about, and Stuff gets stale. Right. And honestly, if you look at it, like our news videos, there are a lot of people who are subscribed to us just for Bionicle News. And that's great, except when Bionicle is no longer around, they might just all leave in droves. And now we're at a position where we have to be like, okay, if that happens, we have nothing. We need to start branching out so we have an extended audience right now. So when Bionicle eventually does end, we have something to fall back on. Pretty much, and hopefully still have some entertaining content for people instead of just rehashing nostalgia. Exactly, just instead of just saying, oh, you know, what was better, 2009, 2006? Was <laughs> yeah, what was, was G2 a success or a failure? <laughs> Let's talk about world building and culture. It's like, they're all good discussions, but eventually it'll get old. Besides, at and this s- point, we've already been having them as they come up. Exactly. Right. Only so many times you can really do that. So I think the Brick Feed podcast was great. We released the pilot, and then we also have episode one out on Vessel Early Access, which will, of course, go up on YouTube. We're going to try to make it a weekly show. Right. Uh, but keep in mind, we're it's still in the early stages. It's still in development. 
So anything about it could change at any point. The format could change. The logos could change. The logos will change. change. Probably. <laughs> We've been working yeah, very hard on uh, getting some better stuff. No, we haven't. Hard. You've been working so hard. <laughs> we have You're not done a thing for a year. You are the year. MVP of graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because the last time we were working on graphic design, I was playing Dark Souls 2, like listening to oh you guys gosh. work on graphic design, and I haven't played that in a long that's, time. That's been so long. Like, I think, yeah, so it'll get done eventually. Eventually. So, Var said we may have just spread misinformation. Var says it's not true. So, oh, January. Fair enough. That's still a long yeah, time. I was actually there. That's five that's months. That's light. That's a true purple. You were there, huh? I do remember. Fair enough. All right. Well, yeah, basically check out Brickfeed. It's cool. I like Watch it. it. I thoroughly like how it, uh, how it went. <laughs> I love we We spent so much time. It's like 25 minutes in, and we're basically still talking about our uh, about our sponsors stuff. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, in summary, <laughs> check out Vessel. Important. Subscribe. Game Dev Tycoon is amazing. We have webcams. Brickfeed is great. You'll Hopefully see it we'll next week. Yeah. Of that. You should he buy should. a t-shirt. Like I just, I literally just bought a T-shirt, so you should follow my example. Oh yeah. I, uh, I I still need to think a little bit before I buy these, because if I'm gonna buy them, I'm gonna go buy both at the same time. You can just like buy them and not tell. Because he wants to get a bigger box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Box. yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're talking my language. You're so stupid. You, you guys should. Be, I mean, you guys should be just like a special LJ, order. Do you dress up bar? as a cat and go hide in cardboard boxes? Of all time, that is, that is my probably my favorite no. TV moment like ever to happen with box of useless junk. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's so absurd. Like people, some people say they're like, "Can you peel a car?" Because like LJ's absurdity, but no, box of useless junk is like you, you want to waste our time, <laughs> so you get box of useless junk in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, I think the park one was the the best moment. We're trying when to do it, Sarah. Yes, please. Well, like... apparently, apparently, a lot of other people agree with you since that was voted number one for the uh, top ten TTV moments yeah. of 2015. Nope. The park is just great. stupid. <laughs> yeah, the, park people, is like, the park was... Go, get out, okay. Listen, the park listen. was like the embodiment of stupidity and poor people planning. people in danger by making that dumb decision. So first of all, I put myself equally uh, in danger. But th that's besides the point. Okay. How does that make it better? That's how does that make it better? That's like saying, that I, I, that's like saying I, I because okay. listen, I am a human you? Swiss Army knife. If something bad. were to go listen, down, I'm a suicide I, 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 I would have been knife. able to protect I, whoever was there. I lit my I'm house so on fire. So all the people in my house are in danger of being killed, but it's okay because I'm also in danger of being killed. So if I light the fire and I stay in the house, it's okay, guys. It's all right. I made Ultron. But I made Ultron, and now if I'm you're helping gonna fight the him. Bomb, make sure you're a suicide bomber. Yeah, it's like I don't. Uh, how does that because make it any better? Because then it's not better? as bad. Anyway, so uh, there's something I was gonna say. Oh, it, it was Bionicle related. Um, I'll bring it. Well, this... well, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> you were gonna <laughs> you keep know, going. On a, a bubble, <laughs> on a bubble call. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're on a Bionicle um, podcast, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been seeing that the sets, the summer wave, has been, like, kind of out. And while it's technically sort of true, uh, some people have been getting the summer wave of sets uh, for this year. It's only a few of them. Only about two people, three people that I know of, two of our fans and then one other guy, got the sets off of Toys R Us when they accidentally were released. So for anyone wondering, no, they're not out yet. No, we don't have them. Yes, some people do. And uh, one guy's been. Release date at Toy Fair was June, so I would start checking like mid May. Maybe they'll should start showing up. But yeah, Toy time Fair to get all the sets again before anyone else. Okay, yeah, I swear, I swear to everything <laughs> that is nice and happy today. If you get all the sets again before me, so I'm far. flying over to your state, and I'm gonna beat you at every single game you we could possibly play. Oh, well, I mean, I can just like buy the sets for you too, if you pay me. Yeah, but then you have to send them to me, and then I have to give you my my mailing address, and I don't. Well, I could just that. like send them to Kahi wow. or Mark, whoever, and then have them but send them to you. Wow. She's being <laughs> so <laughs> nice, and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't do it because I don't trust you enough to let you know somewhere exactly. I might live somewhere. I might have a house somewhere in the United States. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> I mean, if it's hey, any consolation, hey. I don't really care where you live. I can just that's, sell that's them, fine. Send that's them to fine. anyone. 
Well, listen, here. How can you be so mad at someone who's trying to do you a favor? Very easily, because okay? Because it's LJ. <laughs> listen, yep. just leave me alone, Jennifer. <laughs> oh. Why yeah, you, yeah, 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 okay, right, right. What, what, yeah. <laughs> let, let, let me just, let me just why point you, something out Why are you like here. this today, man? What's, right. what's the deal? What's, you, what are, you're like, oh, I can't get rid of my personal information. You've literally just given away my name. <laughs> you hypocrite. Oh. What is uh, happening? Wait, did, did I do that? Did I do that, Jessica? I'm sorry. Yes, you did. <laughs> LJ lives somewhere I in think, the USA. Listen, Go on, it's, it's, it's the void. I think, like, over time, I wonder if, like, Elder, how far Elder can push the envelope of, like, putting our fans in danger and being mean <laughs> to people before people will, like, just have to realize how much of a jerk he is. I'm not the really... J, already the do. LJ... The LJ the, like, movement. The, uh, the J in LJ stands for jerk. The L, L stands L for something I can't repeat here. <laughs> <laughs> All stands for the. It's like the jerk. Wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> El Jerko. Yes, that's what it really means. Translated Wait, did you, roughly. Did you just say El Jerko? <laughs> that's you racist what we're calling you now. pile of garbage. How is wow. that racist? Get out of here, Jill. How is that? How is that racist at all? Don't let's not let's just carry on. <laughs> yeah, no, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, key, that's key word by Anna. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, the sets are out. Novel, and, uh, guys. Oh, the they second graphic novel's out. You should all go get that. The uh, I got it's that. alleged. It's alleged that the third one is coming this month. However, we have okay. we have little to no proof that that is actually going to be. I the don't. Case. I don't know if I'm the only person. I think I may be. Because I see a lot of people talking about this thing like it's concrete. Because obviously that makes sense. It's on Amazon. You can pre-order the thing right now. So I could be completely wrong here. But part of me does think that the graphic novel either is delayed or isn't actually real. It's like a placeholder listing. Because let's look at what we know. Writer Wyndham not writing it. He confirmed this. It's coming out supposedly at the end of this month, May 31st, which reeks of a placeholder date. Nothing really comes out on the 31st uh, that I can think of. Uh, it, there's no cover, and it comes out this month. And there's no description for it. It's like a placeholder. An action-packed original adventure tying into the latest themes and toy sets of Bionicle. I mean... I don't think it's actually real. To be fair, though... Thirty first is a Tuesday, and all the Bionicle books have come out on Tuesday. And I know this because Fair. we've all been up, and LJ said, "Oh, I'll get this ahead of time because I do physical." And we listen, get it okay. Get Monday. <laughs> and here's yes. how I see this. I want to address this. Oh boy, we're there tied we right now. Okay. <laughs> so, Kahi, you are getting on my case because apparently you can be the fastest man in the earth, but if you don't participate in the race, then you're not. No, so, I was saying that was a stupid analogy. I'm saying your stupid analogy. <laughs> so, here's how I am. I'm a very bad analogy. analogy. You're right. So, <laughs> I'm glad you understand. <laughs> so, the um, the first graphic novel and second book, I pre-ordered those and I got them ahead of time. I got them a full day early before anyone else in the community. I was super pumped. This go Except around for the other guy. He got them after me. No. Yes, do you want the evidence, Meso? Literally, the message board has <laughs> times. So the message boards it, have sure. time stamps. Okay, he yeah, came but after it doesn't me. mean he doesn't but, mean that. Like when he posted on the message boards, it was the moment he got it. He well, just, like check out considering considering he doesn't boards. have proof that he got him before me, and I posted them as soon as I got them. I'm gonna go with no. But how do you know? How do you have proof that you got it before him? Uh because I got it before him. Like, how do you know that? So. What That's proof fine. do you have? Wow. I, what proof do I have? I posted on the message board. You know, as that, soon as I got lawyer, it, he? as soon uh, as I got it, I posted on the message board. How do you know he the did the Well, he just didn't. <laughs> because he didn't. Because he didn't. So, so tell me. Tell me. If he got it first, if he did get it first, then did he just wait three hours to post about it? I did that. That could have happened. You're, yeah, 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 you're that's very you know, yeah. I, I am happen. a super awesome Bionicle fan, and I love Bionicle so much. I have this new book before anyone else. And I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna Maybe wait. Maybe he was it. reading it. What could have happened? He could have done it. Did it take him three hours to read it? It take me three hours. Your child. 
I mean, I, I mean like, what could have happened is that he was out uh, shopping with his mom, and they went to a super, like, you know, like a super mall that was, like, you know, an hour away, and he found Barnes Noble there, and he bought the book, and then he had to wait for his mom to get shopping, and he had to wait the hour right. to get back, and he read it, and then he went on audio. Okay, you Why know what? Is that I'm, so- I'm, and then, you know what? Maybe he'll listen to this. Bing Zakanuva, when did you get the book? I want a detailed Call description of your day, when, when you, you got the he book. he remember? Okay. How yeah, because I remember. Time? I remember when I got mine and how I got mine, and I posted proof and because evidence I'm of so it. Un- this is this is one insignificant so thing that I remember every like, single little detail. Listen, buddy. <laughs> listen, <laughs> buddy. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen Joanne. Okay, I Why got the book first. I got the book first. That's all that matters. I gave the the burden of proof Man, on me, and I fight it. Sure, I'll do. The bottom line. I got the the bottom line. I got that, it. These are jerks. El Jerko strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> TTV episode 194. This is the second time you've been the episode. El Jerko strikes this again. The second time? No, I like the Alright. Oh, anyway, wow. so the English one's pretty good. I so un- until, until Bing Zach Nuva <laughs> can provide evidence or make a claim that. That's, his, that's his name. Hey. Hey, can make Bezak, a claim. Bezak Nuva. Hey, PM me, I will Photoshop you a Barnes and Noble receipt that is before L days. I will Photoshop this and I'll print it out for you and I'll mail it to you and you can post it in the message boards and just to show LJ up. Listen, listen, it's not gonna happen, Jislin, okay? Listen, I got the book first. This time around, I didn't. I got it on its release day, but which is after midnight. So you guys got it first. But now, now that we're tied. Now we gotta tied. see who's gonna win. We're not not tied. Okay, we're tied. If I get the sets first, does that mean I win? No. So anyway. Well, it does mean you win because Elder does not have the sets and you do, and you it, can it means proof. you win set wise. But I'm talking about the books, not the sets, because why? Uh, why can't it just be Bionicle content? I mean, because it's the got- bo- we're talking about the books. Okay, this is a, a much larger issue. Okay. <laughs> And the issue is the whole physical versus digital. Oh, I'm not going to yes. download Bionicle. Oh, this yeah. conversation again. You wouldn't download yeah. a Bionicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I totally, totally would. would if I could. 100%. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't. If I could, like, have VR and, like, build with Bionicle sets, yeah, I would definitely do that instead of, like, having plastic just sitting around in my house just collecting dust. I don't know if I'd say that, because I do like the physical element of the sets, but I I would download the sets. I would, like, have, like, you know, download the models and pose and 3D print them. So, like, using LDD? See, this is why we need 3D printers. So, you, you get the schematics, and then you can mock on the computer. I mean, we can do banana. That's basically good. What? That's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, happen. but we I, can't do that because we can't print bananas, LJ. Yeah, we can't print bananas, you sick son of a no, gun. Yeah, we literally can. can. Would, would you print a pet? Would you print a cat? That's the you same could. thing as printing a banana. You're putting no, some it's horrible not cats in the same creature. thing. They're, yeah, they're, they're completely different levels. We had printed a, cat, a banana Anna. before. They're, you know what? They're both a mechanic. Well, firstly, a cat has banana a brain. Cat. A banana yeah. doesn't. Well, there's something you don't have in common with a cat. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm sorry, that was that was a cheap shot. You're, man, that's you're such a jerk this hey. episode. What, What's why the difference so between LJ everybody? and an actual mangosteen? About Not two much. IQ points. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway. Wow. So I am really excited for the next book release because after May. The, the may or may not happen graphic novel huh. we have the next book and uh, that's we do have a name for that actually and that is Escape from the Underworld and that's due for June 28th which I, is man, also Tuesday I would love it if they were facing against the Bionicle God of Death yeah, that's not that was Garmadon it's Garmadon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Garmadon. There we go. Bionicle's yeah. just one of the 16 realms in Ninjago confirmed. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. It'd be really cool. I am looking forward to the next book because I like Bionicle. I'm not looking forward to it because then, like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, think about it. Like, when Journey to One's gonna air in July, and then after that, like, there's nothing for the rest of the year. Oh, boy, here we go <laughs> we got again. A good, like, Five months of downtime. What, what's coming out next year? Do we know what's coming out next year? Uh, yeah, the next Bionicle. 
I mean, like book story wise, any do we have any news? Listen, on that? literally nothing. From all we know, uh, the books are done. The graphic novels are also done, unless they've got a new author to do them. <laughs> Uh, the animations are done. They've been replaced by Journey to One, so I would hope for another season of Journey to One, but it'll be without supplemental material. Journey unless to they, Done. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much Bionicle Journey to Done. That's what it is. <laughs> Stupid car! What car? What car? Jinx. No, no, no. Yeah. That, Jinx! I was bef- As with Jinx! the books, I, I was before you. Jinx! Okay. Listen, Gosh, you were too child. late. You <laughs> can't have a Jinx if you're too late. Not with that attitude. <coughs> I will... Mm. So, yeah, there's, like... I'd really like to get some answers on this, but it is a little early. Hopefully, we'll like, later in the year, we'll know what we can expect. But it's going to be interesting to see what... Basically, how... Because this was a good year for Bionicles. So far, it's been the best year it's had. Like, a Netflix show, and then two books, and then two graphic novels, and then, like, another book and a graphic novel. Maybe. We don't know. So it's, it's solid stuff. Uh, I hope next year they have something equally cool. I've been saying for a while it'd be nice if they kept upping the scales until it inevitably ends, and like next year there's a movie, a theatrical movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. But obviously that ain't happening because I haven't heard anything about it, so <laughs> just be direct to DVD. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But regardless, feedback of like the current stuff's been pretty good. People love the graphic novel. From all reports, people going crazy about the mask of time. Oh yeah, the <laughs> like mask of the time. I forgot that about that. <clears throat> yeah. That's really cool. It's a thing. But to listen, to what extent is a thing? We don't know. There's no connection. Okay. That we know of, right? Yeah. No, nope, no. Nope, there's no connection, and listen, <coughs> it's just a coincidence that there happens to be a lower half, and that there's another version of the Vahi that looks like a lower. That's told. N- uh, nope. Yeah, you know what? Forget the Vahi. Like, yeah. it's it's all a red herring. I know what the real connection is. It's the Skrull shield and, like, the stars. Oh, the yeah, you're right. Poster. That's, that's what it is. Point. It's the Skrull shield. Like, all the beasts oh, are yeah. coming from the Valley of the Maze. <laughs> and, like, that's where they're from. <laughs> Messo, oh, can, I, can, I, can I cut loose for just a moment, please? Cut loose. Okay, oh. thanks. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, go for it. So you you know, you're digging yourself in the uh, hole. Yeah, go for it. All right, thank you. Are you even kidding me? I, are you serious right now? A squall shield in clouds? Does anything even <laughs> resembling something from G1 immediately mean it's a connection? Oh boy, they used the word cataclysm in G2. That must mean it's just like G1. Are you serious? It's the English language. I mean, that could have been what a ca- reference. I'm sorry, Missa, but are you cutting loose? Because um, he's not. He's cutting you back. That's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. And then, and then, are you I, the, the Coliseum? Are you kidding me? Not everything is a G one reference. There's no scroll shield in the sky. Yes, the clouds are circular, but that doesn't mean that it's a scroll shield or a G one reference at all. Saws, circular saws are in a circle. That doesn't mean it's a, a G one reference. Circular saws are a circle. <laughs> they are. And you know what? Just because something looked, you think you are so trying so hard right now. Are you stupid? Stop it! It's just no so small shield. So far in the end, doesn't even matter. I'm end, not even listening. Didn't... Listen. <laughs> okay. I just like half the better. audience. That, that was that yeah. was really stupid when I saw that on the message boards. Like really stupid. Yeah, it triggered you. I got very angry. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Well, either way, uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Sure, yeah. And it's I, a skull it shield, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Did you, uh, want to go somewhere with that? <laughs> no, no, I, I just wanted, I just, I just wanted to yell just for a little bit. Just wanted to vent and yell oh, at people, huh? I'm so glad that you chose our podcast to have this avenue of bridge to our fans. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having a temper no, tantrum on the podcast. Totally mature. It, it Thank is... you for turning our podcast into Jeremy Springer. You were successful. I'm glad. But no, really, that was really, it's a thing, like... really dumb. Wait, it, 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 Jeremy Springer, is he different from Jerry Springer? I don't know who either of them are. Some... Well, over here it's Jeremy Kyle's show, but I don't know what he's called. He's Jeremy Springer, and they get people on, they shout each other, and then they fight, and they rip each other's Jerry table. Springer. Jerry Springer, sorry. Jimmy Stringer. Okay, alright. <laughs> I was about to say, you, you took your phone! <laughs> I was gonna make a joke! You took I had it this from me! <laughs> <laughs> I had it queued up! You come in, it's like, 
Uh, all right. Well, this, gotta go this, faster. This this, this whole uh, scrawl shield thing. It's an instance where, like, this specific case was not not one of those like I have to be the guy. The guy, honestly, he posted and he's like, I was, I, I just thought that's what I saw, which still you need to get get some glasses. But it, it's one of those things where people are really really trying to see a connection where none exists. It's not there. Stop trying to be the guy that has the big revelation. It, it, it's not there. There's no scrawl. And a scrawl shield, really, out of all the things to reference in O one, you're gonna go the the yeah. valley of the maze. O one. What's Gen that? 1. Yeah. It it ain't exactly uh best thing to do, but you know, the Vahi is another matter. Yeah, Vahi's the Vahi different. is definitely a thing. I am. Pretty positive about that. So we're gonna have to wait and see how that pans out. Also, I just went and I looked up the thing we were talking about with Bing Zakanuva and you. Well, you this guy's getting a lot of shout outs. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, he got his books at two forty one Central Time. You posted it. Well, he posted about his books at two forty one. You posted about yours at twelve fifty seven. The difference here that I feel is important. Is while you you posted about yours two hours earlier. His for your first post was I got my books. His first post was a summary of information from the books, <laughs> which meant that he scoured the books and read them. Oh yeah, both that's, of them. That's so difficult and then, like, to do. Posted about it. That's so. So hard I to think do. that it uh, the evidence could go either way. Ma- I think not well, for first of all. Clearly, that is so difficult to do. This X, Y, and Z grade level reading book is so difficult to garner information from. And also, you know why I didn't immediately post with stinking information wrestle? Because I was telling all of that to you and Skype. Actually, I think it was Discord, but okay. No. No. It was Skype, you mook! No, no, no. Don't worry. It, don't it doesn't shout matter. Her, you it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you are the pettiest person <laughs> I've ever known. This, this is all I issue. have, Kahi. Uh, you not better for believe this. it's all you have. What you have else? no career, no friends. What? No else, nothing. Kahi. What do <laughs> I have? He has something else. He, he has to like 1v1 people in every game. <laughs> yes, yes I do. do. LJ is like Sweet. the ultimate compensator. Well, we'll what, find what? out who's the father next week on the Jeremy <laughs> Kyle show. I'm not going to entertain that. Listen, you don't I'm have just to. saying. I'm going to do it. In, in me, life, Kai. Ka- <laughs> 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 Listen, Julie. In life, you got to make claim to what you know is yours. And this is mine. This is my claim to fame. <laughs> like, like my name? Exactly like my yours. actual name? What are you talking about? El Jericho, man. <laughs> I, man, you know, I, yeah. Reception to the graphic novel overall has been good, except for like a couple of things, like the protector names, which we still don't have a concrete explanation for. Of course. And like, I think this puts the nail in the coffin of like uh, graphic novels, like the most recent source of canon, because me and you were having this huge debate, and like, I just don't think it holds up. Don't anymore. do this. I don't think it holds up. That's all. Don't I'm saying. do this. It's a, it's a valid point. I think, like, yeah, I think it just goes down from, like, I think, what is the most, what's the ultimate point? Is it Journey to One? The, the, it has to be. Journey One, I think, is the, like, the, the highest Journey point of one. canon. And then, like, the, um, the books, and then the animations, and then the graphic novels, mm-hmm. and then, and the website. Then the website. Which has all sorts of stuff. And then, like, promotion, no then the promotion material at the very bottom. So, like, Scrawl Shield. Culta. Scroll Shield, all that like, stuff. That's like, I mean, to be fair, though... Like, what was the Scroll Shield? <laughs> like, isn't that in the, the promotional poster? Isn't that, like, the, the you know, quote-unquote Scroll Shield? It's not the Scroll Shield! Scroll shield. It's I know! Quote. I'm saying... I'm, I know! I'm, like, I'm, I'm referencing the stupid thing. I don't know what else to call it. Like, the that's... Cloud. Like, the, the clouds? Yeah, okay. No, I, I mean, it's stupid. It's really stupid, but you kind of came too hard on the guy. I saw, no, I saw no, that first. I was no, like, listen. You, you're kind of, you're legitimately a jerk in that one. It's not no, you're, you're no, listen. Like... I'm sick of these people. They come on here and they're like, oh, guys, G1 reference. Boom, right here, guys. Okay, there's a connection because no, of this. I mean, like, I can see you being annoyed. Why are you sick of them? Just listen, be like, you no, give these people it. an inch, they'll take a mile. 
I'd so. You say an itch? So someone might be wrong about yeah. Bionica? Yes! God you know forbid! Yeah, wait, uh, yes, if you're wrong. Listen, Kahi. We, everyone here and associated with us gets... Oh, yeah. Johnny. Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay, listen, Juliet. Everybody associated to us gets blamed of misinformation. So we have to shut that down. Everybody we associated have to shut us, us is down. Is it misinformation? Not it's the just people that go on our forums and can say anything. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just this dude pointing something out that he thought was like a reference. Well, it's, they can't I don't say, think it's a reference. They can't say anything. <laughs> I mean, like, are people they not allowed to be incorrect? <laughs> Listen, the Bionicle community takes this stuff very seriously. We'll argue about trivial things in case you haven't noticed. No, I know. I'm saying that, like, I, it's not it's not that big of a deal. Someone is wrong about Bionicle. Whoa. You don't need to, like, you don't need to go into podcasts after, like, already, like, shredding him on the boards. <laughs> Listen, guys. I just... We have to dispel this, okay? Stop jumping at every... <laughs> and, and, like, I, I even posted this, too. I was like, well, Umarak, he has a certain scar pattern on his mask. It looks exactly like Luffy from One Piece. Boom. <laughs> Umarak ate the gum gum fruit. He's gonna start kicking rear and taking names now. Well, I, it's also different because yeah. our misinformation like, came from, uh, I get, I mean, like, some someone at Lego told us one thing. And we interpret it one way, and someone else told us that wasn't it. So that's very different yep. from someone like saying, "Oh, this looks a little bit like something else." <laughs> so there's a connection. I so I'm I'm agreeing with you. I also want to make that distinction between like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, it's not just that we're like, oh, it looks like this. You know, it just come out of nowhere. It was it was told to us. Uh, well, it was it was t- it was in, it was more than just implied. It was told to us in a certain way that led us to believe something. And uh, you know, we we since redacted, and uh, you know. On public and social media, yeah. and everything. But uh, that being car. said, that being said, what though, with Meso's car, I <laughs> think that people are just going to be wrong about Bionicle all over the place. This, that's not going to be a thing where it's like, yeah, that's like not going to stop. Are wrong about Bionicle all the time. It's we like, with, were with wrong about Bionicle. Bionicle about. With a theme about Bionicle, you're always going to be wrong to like some degree. For instance, I thought Bionicle was going to do well. I was wrong. Okay. Oh. I, okay. Dang. I really hope. I <laughs> it, it is my sincerest hope that Good. nobody Dang. is being introduced to the Bionicle community through you, Meso, because oh, you are man. such a you pessimist. Are the, wow, you're the worst. I love that quote. That's great. Okay, listen. You are, you like, are such a pessimist. You can be negative pessimist. about anything. We could be I'm getting. A skeptic realist. We could be. <laughs> we could be Lego partners. We could be getting sent with Lego with a Lego we budget, and you would be annoyed that we're not getting one particular set. Well, why can't you get a bad analogy? If it's a budget, money. we can order whatever we want. Yeah, come on, man. doesn't work. Meso, Meso, you can be negative about anything. It doesn't matter what. Listen, I like to keep both eyes open. A fair appraisal. Then how are you the most blind person I know? I mean, no, he's he's, he's glasses, not blind, to so. be fair. He's saying, he's like, he's saying what everyone is thinking. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. Much. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. thinking I, um, that either. You I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'm thinking boy, it's really nice that we have Bionicle back and we get to enjoy I it mean, all let's friends. Be, let, so let's be real. Enjoy. He's let's just be real. the whole episode. Construction well, has not been like really successful, uh, like recently. You know, how do and we Bionicle, know? Because we know Listen. because <laughs> all of the new lines that were launched, like elves, for example, are listed as the top selling lines for Lego. Bionicle is not m- among them. Bionicle if is everyone, not seeing a huge. If everyone push. in this group to wasn't thinking that to some degree, like I had hoped Bionicle would be successful, and I was wrong. We wouldn't be doing the Brick Feed podcast. Plain and simple. It is a contingency plan because Bionicle, unfortunately, we all love it. But as so long as it is number one a Lego product and having to compete with all the other other themes, and number two, so long as it is construction where it will be a niche, it will never truly reach its potential. Its fluke success back in two thousand one will likely never happen again, despite their best efforts. Because it, they it could happen replicate. again. It could. Either they can't, or they don't want to replicate. No, the no. Same there, there's a way to do it, and, and it is difficult for, too because yes. they're looking at the numbers and they're like, "Well, we can't justify this amount of marketing for something that might not yeah. make this amount of money." 
That's what I think is going on behind the scenes. I don't know. You're right, LJ. I don't have Maybe I should blame statistics. Hero Factory for tanking everything. But, but, I mean, like, in a way, that's just kind of how it is at this point. We know that when Bionicle isn't getting a, a huge TV show, movie, you know, all that stuff is not getting a huge marketing push, we know that is because their sets probably don't sell as well as some other sets do. Lego Elves is doing really well. They've reported that Lego Elves is one of the like the best new lines in a lot of their marketing reports. Forbes was commented as Lego Elves is one of the big drivers beyond uh, like for Lego in 2015. I feel like just not there. I feel like I've kind of accepted the fact that even though Bionicle came back, it won't be as great as it like originally was, like in the golden age of Bionicle. Yeah, and I think I'm kind of accepted. It was a that. circumstance that won't happen again. Yeah, I've accepted the fact that this Bionicle won't be the same Bionicle as we all grew up with. That I'm still happy that it's here, and as you're gonna say, oh, yeah. it's not it's not gonna carry on forever. And you know, I'd rather have it like that instead of it just getting consistently worse and worse to the point where it's like, well, what is the point? I see. I, I think quite right. I think Meso is just so horribly pessimistic about Bionicle at every turn. I think he, you're I, wrong. No, I mean, I he, he is a little bit. He is a little bit when it comes to stuff like, about the story like, like, and some like other all stuff. All sure. the stuff, that, all the stuff that's being said is saying, true. But what he's saying isn't wrong, though. Like, it is a accurate assessment of what we're dealing with. And sometimes shying away from the truth doesn't make it any less uncomfortable. We can't ignore like, something yeah, just because the, we the, want the, the outcome is, to be different. The thing is, like, like I just said, like, you're right. Yes, that's true. But... If if I were a Bionicle fan coming to the podcast, I would leave no longer being a Bionicle fan because I swear, Meso, your new name shouldn't be Meso. It should be Doom and Gloom. And that's longer well, his, though. His new name is Tyler. So, well, well, being a fan yeah. of something does not mean you have to ignore its flaws. That's so, what right. a lot of people yeah. uh, seem you're, to. That's what the DC do. fans don't you, you get. Think, you think I need to be told that, Meso? <laughs> Apparently so. Okay, okay, You're Apparently joking, right? So. First, no, uh, I don't think so. The first, red, red, yeah. red axles first, and blue pins, really. If you're gonna listen yeah, to a podcast which is full of opinions, and somehow, like, and you're going to take those opinions as fact, then I'm sorry, but you're not exactly the most intelligent person in the world. First of all, I'll take but, 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 that. yeah, I mean, that's really true. I mean. It's, if you listen to what Meso is saying and you don't build okay. your opinion you off what Meso is saying, opinion as fact, then you're already downgrading yourself already. It's like why don't you go out there and see impartial point of view of Bionicle and see that it's mostly positive. There are some flaws with it, and we all. Thing is, I'm not. I'm not saying. Fans. I'm not. I'm not saying he's not right. I'm just saying he's pessimistic. He's half glass, uh, glass half full and probably well, less. Well, like 500 uh, times. Glass half empty, you mean. That's what pessimistic is. It's oh, yeah, glass half empty. Yeah, same thing, different words. No, no, no I, am I am not. Things. Like, I am not pessimistic. I am a skeptic realist. Oh my gosh, skeptic well, realist. Well, you know, as a joke yeah, because it's funny, realism, but that is... is the LJ first. is right in that skeptic realism is a pessimistic way of assessing a situation and that is like what you're having is a pessimistic view technically but that doesn't mean it's bad <laughs> hey mess up no no you're right I was, you're right. Learned, I was a yeah. skeptic We're, realism uh, by definition is a pessimistic view on how things are doing because it's realistic it's not idealist Mess idealist up. is optimistic <laughs> yes LJ were you being skeptically realistic about the possibility <laughs> Possibility of a falcon in the reach update. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that. <laughs> I know. No one's gonna I know. understand. I know. It. Nobody's gonna stop. understand that. Why did but you I, I just, rail? I, he's boring. Like, sucked. He's like boring. Oh, no, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's just trying to get under your skin. This, this, this entire episode is just trying to get not, under no, people's no, no, skin. No, 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 Any wait, Halo wait. fans out there will know my sorrow. Wait. wait. <laughs> I, I honestly. I know that's off topic. I just had to say that before I forgot it. <laughs> LJ, Any don't Halo pour the salad on the wound. Thing. It's yeah. already difficult enough so. as it is. I don't know why you thought it was so salad? important. Yes, the salad. I, I, yeah. you the salad, right. yeah. yeah. It's a recurring joke now. Anyways. My only hope is that Journey to One has somehow, against no advertising and no promotion whatsoever, has managed to be a hit 
and we'll have given some people an insight into the Bionicle theme. Well, the main thing is, like, I feel like it, it that's wasn't... the thing it can happen. I didn't see any advertising for Journey the One on Netflix. That was my main thing, is that, like, I think that Netflix is a great place to go. I think a lot of kids are watching Netflix now. I just, like... I don't know how anyone could be aware outside of the Bionicle community. If I did Journey not follow the Facebook Bionicle page, I would have never known Journey to One came out because I would have got the Lego Club and I would have been like, cool, February, and I would have waited for it all February, and then it never would have come out, and I would have been like, what is this? Where is it? And I would have lost interest and moved on. The only place it was ever announced is the Facebook page, and thankfully, thankfully, they're beginning to remedy that by putting stuff on the website, which will hopefully help, because the website is actually plugged in the instruction booklet, so people know to go there and check stuff on the website. Yeah, but it's still so many multiple steps, though. If you have to go from, like, instruction book to website to Netflix, that's already three steps. It's three steps too much. Well, like I was banking on people uh, following social media, I guess. Really I guess so, but they, uh, they, I mean, they should do, like, commercials and stuff. You know, like yeah, or even just Agreed. like on YouTube, or like, you know, you see stuff for commercials for Netflix on YouTube sometimes. Um, you see stuff for like I don't know. It's just I wish they would do it. I wish they would pull We can only hope. It. We can only hope. And I, really I just I know why they don't though, because it doesn't sell as well. Oh, man, pretty much it's an, it's like a no. There's no. It's very clear why stuff happens. It just sucks as a fan of the theme that it is. Well, it's too. not entirely too clear. Sometimes you're like, why is Zack Snyder still in charge of the DC Cinematic Universe? We don't know. There's no real reason Probably for that. Probably because he has a contract and they don't want to relieve him from. That's possibly Probably really true. All it is, so. Yeah. Contractually bound. Well. But money to like break out of it. So that's just how it is. Bionicle, at least Graphic Novel 2 is good. I, Graphic Novel 3, don't hold your breath. Like, in summary, like, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's happening. And Aww. chapter book number 3, get hype. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to be wrong. Well, Graphic guys, the world is ending. Sorry to break it to everyone, nope. but we're all gonna die. We're all One day, yes, everyone's, everyone's died. There's no we're need to be happy. We're all gonna die. There's no need to be happy. Let's just die. Elder. No, quit being so <laughs> pessimistic, Elder. Let's just end this on death. <laughs> wow. Wow. Innocent Let's death. end this on. LJ, if I, as your friend, I recommend that you take a chill pill, take a nap, <laughs> and like come back as a better person. Thanks, man. Go back to bed and wake up with someone else, please. And also buy books digitally. Great. All right. I'm going to wake up at... So for now... I'm going to wake up as Viper so I can be a better version of her. Uh, yeah, good luck. Why are you going to be throwing all this shit? What is... What is up with you today? <laughs> what is, is... Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure anyway. somewhere in the world today is International why, Fight Day. Why I'm can't you just, dragon. like... Every Thanks time you're, like... Every time we're at some point in this you. episode, you're all just, like, insulting people just to get under the skin. You don't even Thank argue. Thank you very much for watching... <laughs> Uh, episode, whatever it was, 194 of the TTV Podcast. It's been real. Check us out on Vessel at Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel and buy our shirts at store.ttvpodcast.com. And we'll see you all next week for another exciting episode of the TTV Podcast. Farewell, everybody. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. And I'm Viper. I'm Takuma Diva. And I'm Purple Dragon. And yeah, bye. Oh wait, your name is Kahi. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Wait a second, your name is Kahi now? Well, okay, cool. Well, we're saving it for episode 200. That's what I thought. Yeah. Bye. Bye.